Hello and welcome to the tutorial on robotic process automation using UiPath. So in this session, we are going to consider an example to build a workflow that opens the command prompt and runs a simple command in it. Now let us jump into the UiPath Studio software where we build the workflow. So first of all, let me create a sequence. So I'll say new and say sequence. So let me give a name. Let it be command prompt example. Let's say create. Okay, create a sequence for us. So let me open up a command prompt initially so that I can indicate it using the activity. This is my command prompt. So the first activity that I would like to add is the open application activity. I'll just drag it and drop here. So I should be indicating the window or the screen to open up the application. So here I'll say command prompt. So one of the settings that we need to do in case of command prompt so that we can execute commands is that we should be editing the selector of the open application activity. So I'll click on this icon. It says edit selector and this is the selector that is used for opening up, opening up the command prompt. I'll just remove this bar which will help us to execute the commands in the command prompt. After this, I'll just validate and then I'll click on the OK button. Then once I open up my command prompt, I should be using one more activity that is maximize window. I should be able to maximize the command prompt window. So that's why I'll use maximize window activity. Then after this, I should be using a type into activity so that I can type a command and then run it. So in the input box, I'll just use quotations and I'll provide EIR as the command to be executed in the command prompt. Along with this DIR, I should be clicking on the enter button. So I'll just choose that enter button here from this special keys list. It is entered, yeah. So after typing the DIR, it should click on the enter key. So this is it. Let us execute this and see what it will give us. So it is execution, execution started. Yeah, it is, it is so quick that it has typed and it has given us the result. It has typed the DIR command and it has listed all those directories available in the current location. So now what if we would like to extract all the information that DIR command has given us? So let me go to the UI path. Now I should be extracting the information from the command prompt window. So how do I do that? So I'll make use of this feature of UI path that is screen scraping. So I should be indicating what screen must be scraped. So here I'll indicate this particular window. So it has actually scrape the entire information from the screen for us okay so there are three different ways of scraping the information from the screen one is the native next one is full text the other one is OCR that is optical character recognition but now in this case we'll just make use of this native method for scraping the information from the command prompt so that's it I will say finish so that the entire information is extracted. So now the information that is extracted from 
the command prompt is available in a variable so that is uh, present here it says uh, cmd ex e some long name is given for this so let me create a variable so for that i should be going to this variable tab okay so this is a variable that is already created for us once we have done that screen scraping so let me rename this itself as scraped data okay so that's all the things will remain same variable type scope and all will remain the same let me close this variable tab and yeah now the output of this scraping is present in the scraped data variable so now this i can print it in a message box i'll just make use of a message box activity after this and i'll say scraped data okay so this is it so let me save this file and run the workflow once again so that i can extract the information that i've run so it is executing in a much faster way I executed the command it has extracted the information and it has printed the same in the message box for us so this is how we make use of command prompt in case of automation